Your latest news update from Western Mass News. Good evening, I'm Jordan Jagelinzer. Here's your latest news update from Western Mass News. The Department of Public Health releasing today's COVID-19 data. The state's positivity rate over the past week sits at 2.28%. Officials say there have been 24 new deaths from the coronavirus. So far, nearly 65% of Massachusetts residents have been fully vaccinated. For a full look at those numbers, check out our free Western Mass News streaming app. Police have identified the woman accused of carrying out multiple armed robberies in West Springfield the last few days. Wendy Rachel Young is facing multiple counts of armed robbery while masked. She was arrested yesterday at the Bel Air Motel, where she recently began staying. According to police, Young robbed the TD Bank on Riverdale Street on Monday, days after robbing the Freedom Credit Union on Union Street. No one was hurt during either incident. She was ordered to be held on $10,000 bail. Across the border in Connecticut, online gambling could begin any day now. State leaders still need to finalize some regulations and partnerships, but the tribes in state lottery may end up starting their operations separately. Fifteen other physical sports books will be set up around that state. Officials toured the XL Center to scout it as a potential location in Hartford. I'm meteorologist Jana Brown with a check of your forecast. A warm and humid Wednesday on the way with temperatures climbing toward the middle 80s in the afternoon. We'll see some breaks of sunshine throughout the morning and the first part of the afternoon. But after 4 p.m. there is the chance that we'll see some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Some storms could become severe with damaging wind gusts, large hail. Can't roll out an isolated tornado either, but also very heavy rain that could lead to isolated flash flooding. The best time frame for severe weather looks to be from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m., uh, but we may see a few showers kind of linger after that into the overnight. Thursday, a few showers may also linger. Temperatures, though, will be back to the mid-70s, still very muggy. Friday and Saturday, it looks much more hit or miss. A few showers possible. Warmer for Saturday with highs back to near 80, and we're still humid through the start of the weekend, but humidity eases by Sunday, but temperatures stay on the warm side with more sunshine. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.